Hello my friends, welcome to our video today. In this video, we will delve into the life journey of Hollywood actress and model Raquel Welch, who was voted by Playboy magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars of the 20th century. From career successes to life challenges and scandals, if you find the video interesting, please comment below and conversely, comment zero. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the latest and greatest videos. portrayed this role with confidence and in you, helping her become famous and establish her reputation in the film industry. In the same year, she won the Big Star Award when her photo was published in Life magazine titled, The End of a Drought is a Great Time for a Girl, which created a buzz throughout town. She was carefully considered for the role of Domino in Thunderball, and also caught the attention of producer Saul David's wife, who introduced her to 20th Century Fox, where with Curtis's help, she secured a contract. She agreed to a non-exclusive seven-year contract, five films in the next five years, and two floaties. The studio's executive wanted to change her name to Debbie. They thought Raquel would be difficult to pronounce. She refused their request. She wanted to use her real name, so she chose Raquel Welch. After a screen test for Saul David's film, A Man Flynn, In the film, Ella is part of a large 
that helped solidify her position in Hollywood's film industry. Welch first garnered attention with her role in Fantastic Voyage, 1966, following which she signed a long-term contract with 20th Century Fox. and adventures in a dangerous and harsh world. Her sole costume in the film was a two-piece deer skin bikini. She was described as wearing the first bikini of mankind and the fur bikini was described as the definitive look of the 1960s. The New York Times praised her in a review of the film, released in the UK in 1966 and in the US in 1967, as a monument with miraculous breath for the human female. An author noted, although she had only visiting the Azores. In the movie, Fathom is a marine physicist and also a skilled surfer. She gets caught up in an international conspiracy when secrets are sent to both British and American intelligence agencies and Fathom must use her talents to resolve the situation. In this role, Raquel Welch embodies the strength, intelligence, and allure of the character, creating a powerful image in this action-packed adventure film. Fathom, 1967, was filled in Spain for 20 Century Fox. Second unit director Peter Meadows noted that Welch was inexperienced at the time, like one of those American specialist drummers. But she worked very hard and came to watch the drummers every day, including gradually. Who's this idiot? People would say. But I said, wait, I bet she'll make it. I liked her a lot because she's very genuine. And she has a beautiful body that always helps me out. Welch described her role as a blown up Barbie doll.
to fight against the oppression faced by their people. Welch's performance in the film is characterized by strength, determination, and a new, making Sarita a memorable character and an icon in the western film genre. Her portrayal adds depth and intensity to the story, contributing to the overall impact of the movie. Welch played a freedom-fighting leader in 100 Rifles, a 1969 western film directed by Tom Grease and shot in Almeria, Spain. The film also stars Jim Brown, Bert Reynolds, and Fernando Lamas. The movie stirred attention and controversy at the time for including an intimate scene between Welch and Brown, breaking Hollywood's taboo against international intimacy on screen. The film is remembered for its spectacular bathtub scene, where Welch distracts the soldiers on a train by bathing in a water tower alongside the railroad tracks. Director Trees attempted to convince Welch to perform new for the scene, but she refused. It was one of several instances where Welch opposed on screen music and pushed back against producers wanting her to act or post music for several years. In the movie, Clara, 1969, Rick and Welch plays Michelle, a dancer who gets into trouble when she's targeted by a serial killer. Welch's character is portrayed as a strong, seductive, and determined woman, trying to protect herself and evade the murderer. Welch's performance in the film highlights the strength and determination of Michelle, while also creating tense and thrilling situations for the storyline. Welch's presence contributes to the allure of the film, keeping the audience engaged and captivated throughout the unfolding of the story. In the movie, Myra Breckenridge, 1970, Raquel Welch played the role of Myra Breckenridge, a complex and controversial character. Myra is a transgender person transitioning from male to female and comes Raquel Welch's performance in the role 
showcased her resilience, determination, and ability to portray a compelling and empowered female character in a male-dominated genre. Her portrayal contributed significantly to the film's success and solidified her reputation as a leading actress in the Western genre. In the movie, Kansas City Bomber, 1979, Rachel Welch starred as Karen Casey. Star, a renowned roller derby athlete. Karen Star is a strong, determined character who is famous in the world of roller derby. In the film, she faces numerous challenges. in a motion picture musical or comedy in 1974 for her role as Constance Bonasieu in The Three Musketeers and reprised this role in the sequel the following year. In the movie, The Three Musketeers, 1973, Raquel Welch played the role of Constance Bonasieu, an important character in the story. Constance Bonasieu is a beautiful, intelligent, and courageous woman who is the lover of D'Artagnan, one of the three famous musketeers. Throughout her journey, she often faces danger and challenges but remains resilient and determined. Raquel Welch's performance fully captures the strength, charm, and intelligence of the character Constance Bonasu, creating a positive impact in the film and contributing to the prominence of this classic story. In the movie, The Wild Party, 1975, Raquel Welch portrays Queenie, a seductive and daring woman during the Great Depression.